The CO not finding sufficient O2 to bond with explains some of the high O2 readings, but it doesn't explain the full story. For that, you'll need to take into account the HC reading too. In reality, it can often be a very small window of time between when an engine goes closed loop and it starts listening to what the O2 sensor has to say, and when the cat gets hot enough to start doing its thing to a greater or lesser degree. As the cat processes CO, HC and O2 and turns them into CO2 and H2O, what we can see is the CO2 going up as the HCs, the CO and the O2 goes down. 